Michael made me love music. And that's why for, for me, it's just the king. And I don't think anybody should be compared to him, but we're going to compare Drake to him anyway. Oop. We're going to compare Drake to him anyway. I know you guys might get mad at that because I remember all I did was put up a poll and you guys were like, like, why is this even a question, Michael Jackson or Drake? Like, well, we're going to compare them on It's the Internet for me because those are my top two favorite artists of all time. We got the king and the goat going head to head. So that's what these are. We're going to go through and go hit for hit. Uh, I chose 10 songs. Now, this is sort of rent, not, not too random. Uh, so for each artist, I chose like five songs that I thought they were like were their best songs in top 10 hits. And then I chose five songs that I really enjoy and are probably my favorite songs from them both. Uh, it's kind of weird because their top hits, some of them or a couple of them are actually on my top favorite songs list. So, but I had to choose something else. Ah, uh, so for the, the, uh, let's go through MJ's, all the ones I did for MJ. MJ, his top five hits I, I thought were his like five hits would be, uh, Billie Jean, Beat It, Thriller, Rock With You, and Bad. Those seem like his just most popular hits that I could think of, to be honest. And the songs that I chose, songs that I chose that are like my favorite that I've been listening to, like these are still on my on my uh, top 100, you know, l songs listened to of 2021. Uh, got uh, number one for me would be "You Rock My World." Number two, "Remember the Time." Number three, "Want to Be Starting Something." Number four, "Dirty Diana." That's an underrated song to me, and. Uh, number five would be I Just Can't Stop Loving You. Those are all, oof. But it's tough because you got, I mean, you guys know Drake is my favorite rapper and he's he's the greatest of all time. I mean, come on now, especially with these jams. So his top five that I thought like were his biggest hits, just the biggest hits in general, did the most numbers or just, you know, when you think of Drake, you think of these hits. Number one, I did God's Plan. Number two, One Dance. Uh, number three... Number three, oh, Best I Ever Had, Then Hold On, We're Going Home, that was a big song, and Marvin's Room. So, those were all really big singles, you know, just sort of identify with Drake. And the, uh, my top five, this was really, really hard, because he has so many, but the top five that wasn't uh, in that five would have been, I got Trust Issues, Tuscan Leather, Look What You've Done, The Ride, and Money in the Grave. Those are my probably, oof, I listen to those all the time. Okay, this is going to be a hard battle for me because, like I said, it's it's one and two going at it. So, like, one of, you know, my Michael songs that are a little bit lower on the list could be beat by one of Drake's songs lower on the list, but we're going to keep a tally. Uh, I'm just going to keep counting, put my fingers up, but... Got 10, 10 for 10. We got the... I'm going to show this so you guys know I'm not, like, messing with it or anything. So, I mean, I don't know who's going to go first. So, start with... We'll start with Michael. Then Drake. Then we'll probably do Drake again. And then Michael and, until we meet them all. I don't even know if you guys can see this, but... Here we go. Three, two, one. Michael's number two. Not. Uh, like I said, I put these randomly on on the thing and just put numbers on them. I don't know which, whose is who or what what song is what. But should we open it before or after? Let's do let's do it before. So well, nah, I'm just gonna wait. Okay, Drake's random number. For his round one, it's going to be 10. All right, number two and number 10. Boom. So first, oh man, here we go. First one, number two, best I ever, oh. Oh, I guess this, I guess Drake went first this one because this is Drake and this is mine. I totally forgot. But best I ever had. Oof, that's, that's just a song full of 
so many hooks that are catchy and we got oh man we got rock with you mm. Mm. wow 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 oh my oh hold on okay i'm trying to think what's crazy is based on when i started to listen to michael I listened, and when Best I Ever Had came out, I was listening to both these songs around the same time and discovering around the same time. Oh, man. Uh... Okay, I gotta make a decision. I'm gonna go with Rock With You. Ooh, if I... I wish I could hear both. I, I would, like, uh, play them, but, you know, the copyright or whatever. So, we got one for Michael. Got Rock With You. Man, that was, that was tough. This is going to be a hard one. All right. So, now, well, Drake went first on that one. So, now we're doing Michael again. Number nine for Mike. Okay, got that. And then, wow, number eight for Drake. All right. So, Michael's just won, imagine. What's he starting with? Thriller. Wow, that's a that's a bop too. All right, that's his bigger. That's one of his bigger songs. And Drake has money in the grave. Oof. I'm going with Drake. No, hear me out. I'm going with Drake, only because I'm not listening to Thriller, like in July. I'm not listening to Thriller in July. Money in the grave. I'm listening to all year. Thriller, I'm bumping it now because it's almost Halloween. But by the time Christmas comes, I'm going to be bumping other songs. But Money in the Grave wins only because of that reason. But Thriller is a great man. I mean, well, well, if you think about the quality of the songs too, but still, Money in the Grave wins. 1-1 one, one is the score. All right, let's do another number. Wait, who's going first? Drake's going first this one, and he won the last one. Number seven. Okay, I think it's kind of... Mm, it went nine, eight, and seven. Okay. If it goes six right here, I'm going to... Okay, we got four from Michael. Now, we got seven and four. Number seven for Drake. Hold on, we're going home. That. It's another song we just... That was a song we always had on iTunes. This is We, we had the single version, though. Like when it first came out as a single rather than, you know, off the album. Still on my playlist to this day and it's going against. Ooh, I just can't stop loving you. See, these, these are similar. These are hella similar. Hold on. Mm -hmm. I'm hearing both in my head right now. They're... Hmm. I think, don't get mad again. I'm going with Hold On, We're Going Home. That's just, that. that's a great song. When I, when I think about where those are on my playlist, Hold On, We're Going Home is a lot higher than I Just Can't Stop. Man, we got two, two to one, Drake up. Wow, Drake is up, okay. Michael needs to start coming with the heavy hitters and he's going first. Number six. Let's hope number six is a banger. And then Drake. Number nine. Oh, we already did number nine. Cool. Number two the Drake. Um, I think I grabbed number two for Michael and number six, six for Drake. It's supposed to be the other way around. Whoops, put that back. Number six. What the hell? What's going on? Oh, okay. I grabbed number six and number two for Michael and wasn't supposed to. So we got to go again because there's no number two for Drake. Drake's number 10. All right, number 10 and six. Like I said, these aren't in any order. They're just random. They're just random. So we're going to see what Michael... Oh man, remember the time. 
this is gonna like this is winning already. It's not like if I Drake gonna have to put on like my favorite song by his in order for me to put it up against this. Ooh, the ride. I'm still gonna remember the time. I'm still gonna remember the time. That's two. That's number two, my favorite. So and yeah, the ride is fire though. Listen to the ride. That's an underrated song. All right, so Michael, want, it's two two. 2-2, two, two. yep. Oh, maybe I should put them in piles. There we go. Drape on that, drape on that. 2-2. Two, two. Okay, here we go. Who's starting? Number four for Drake. Number four for Drake. This is Drake. And then, number one for Michael. Okay, Drake, what you got? Ooh, Drake out Marvin's room. Marvin's room. That's a that's a fire song. But Michael's got I mean, Michael won that, I'm sorry, but you got Billy Jean. Billy Jean's his number one. Michael got that one. Okay, three to two in Michael's favor. Number two for Michael, yep. The one I chose earlier, I don't think I looked at it. And number four for Drake, we already did that. Number one for Drake, here we go. Number four, number one. I mean, number one and number two. Okay, so, Drake, which, or no. I'm just gonna, okay. Bad. That, <laughs> Michael Jackson's bad. That's a good one. This way, hold on. Drake. Ah, uh, Tuscan Leather, Tuscan Leather's got to take that one. I don't know, I like the song bad. I can dance to it and everything, but, you know, it's not his number one hit, so that's the reason I chose it. Uh, but, I mean, I've listened to it, just not, not in a while, not as much as the other ones, so. But Tuscan Leather, I listen to that freaking like three times a week. So Tuscan Leather, it's three to three. It's three to three. We got, uh, how many more rounds? One, two, I don't know. But we're going to get through it. Here we go. Um, Michael started that one. So next is Drake. Drake doesn't have a number 10. Okay. Drake doesn't have a number 8. They both have number 5s. This is MJ. This is Drake. Okay. Drake's number 5. And Michael's number eight. Here we are. Drake, what you got? Trust issue. Ooh, that's that was number one, my favorite song. So right now, trust issues is probably winning. Unless it's really bad. Hold on. Yeah, I'll take trust issue. Want to be starting something? That that was number three on my on my Michael list. That. Wow, I'm making Drake. Am I making Drake win? What is happening? That is what. Hold on. But these are the top songs. Like it just comes down to it. Like these these ones on Michael's side are probably bangers now. Just wait and they're probably gonna win all three. Okay, so we got three. How about since they both got three, we'll just do three versus three on the last one. Uh like I said, it's still random. I don't know which one is which, but We'll do three versus three, then we're looking for five, seven, six, and nine for which is going against which. So, um, who went for Drake went first, so Michael's next. Is it seven or five? Five, all right. And then Drake's got six or nine. Ah. Six, okay, five and six. I mean, seven and nine are going at it. Michael, what you got for number five? Beat it. Oh my goodness. That's also winning right now. Is that just... Beat it and look what you've done. Hmm. I'm trying to think, which one am I listening to every day? Or listen to mostly? 
which one's gotten more moments for me? Because, I mean, I love, I love this song, Look What You've Done, but, I mean, I did a dance to beat it at prom. At prom, I did a dance to beat it, so. I'm gonna have to go beat it, because that's, that's just, you know, had more moments, had more moments, so. What are we at? Are we seriously, are we seriously 4-4? Four, four? I thought it'd be a blowout, but I'm, you know, I'm the right person to judge this because I'm a, they're my top two artists. I'm the fan. I get to decide. Like, they're my top two artists of all time. So, seven and nine. Drake going first, number nine. Ooh, his number one before God's plan. It is one dance. One dance. Versus Michael's number seven. Ooh, Dirty Diana. Uh, hmm. This, remember I said, Dirty Diana to me is just an underrated song. It's one of my favorites, but One Dance. Like when I think about, you know what? I literally cannot choose this one. I'm going to go to my playlist for 2021. I'm pretty sure these are both on there. I'm going to choose which one is higher. That's all I'm going to choose. Because I cannot, when I think about how much I listen to both of these, Whoops. Uh, trying to look for them. Stop playing. Oh. Mm -hmm. Where are they at? First one I see. First one I see. First one I see. These aren't on my list. How are these not on my list? I listen to these all the time. Oh, oh, there we go. Looks like One Dance took that one. Dirty Diana's kind of way down there, but One Dance. Wow, that's crazy. I thought both of them would be like near each other. It's another underrated song. But we got, man, Drake's winning five to four. This is, okay, three and three. Whatever three is. So who should go? MJ is first. I think MJ is winning this already. You Rock My World is my number one MJ song. Uh, you guys saw I did I did this random. God's plan. Remember when I said that God's plan was um uh, in the, or there were a couple songs in that top five of their best songs that that might be uh, in my top five, but I can't pick them twice. God's plan might be my favorite Drake song of. Or you rock my world. Man. Mm -hmm. I'm going with you rock my world only because that is num I'll, I'll show you that that one is number Are you kidding me? I know it's around here. Hold on. That one's number 46. And God's plan is... Is it even on here? Okay. Uh, whoop. Okay. We don't need none of that. God's plan. Let's see where it ranked at as far as my other playlists. Stop exposing my playlist. I need to charge people for this playlist. Oh yeah, because 
God's plan peaked at number number 59 on on uh, my 2020 playlist. But it's probably even higher, 2019 or so. But anyway, You Rock My World took that one, and I just realized it's tied. It's tied. Like, just... I'm just gonna... I'm not gonna let you guys pit my favorite two artists against each other anymore. I don't know who Tram is. 